alignment. I'm sure you already picked up on this from a lot of the other comments that I made in other um, videos, but um, I just really like when things are aligned and clean and straight and equal distance away from uh, from other notes, etc. So um, and just overall uncluttered. So I already showed you that, like on the <clears throat> on the elevations, what I try to achieve with having notes line up both. Horizontal, uh, vertically and horizontally, these these could just as well be. Someone could have, you know, put this up in here and this down here. I just don't think that looks as good. That's not the way I want it. Um, There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not the way I like it. These these also could be haphazard everywhere, and it would still tell the builder the same uh, message. But it's not what I want. I want I want things better aligned. Um, so, for instance, on the first floor. Um, these, wherever possible, these are all aligned. I think that looks great. These are aligned vertically, wherever possible. It wouldn't make sense to align the, remove the great room down so low that it's aligned with the kitchen, nor would it make sense for the kitchen to be moved up so high that it would be aligned with the great room. It makes more sense in this case for the kitchen note to be in the center of the kitchen and the great room to be in the center of the kitchen. but. Wherever possible, I like to align those things. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't align the study with the closet with the great room because not, nothing about that is is anywhere. The, the study would look way off uh, center and the great room would be off center. Just to align that with the closet, that wouldn't make any sense. So um, I know that the builders really appreciate my drawings. They're easy to look at. They're easy to read. Um, it just something about the cleanliness of them make them you know more pleasant to look at. They're not cluttered. I already talked about things like avoiding this. Um, I noticed something on the first floor plan. Even something as simple as if you've got this this strong horizontal going from top to bottom. You know it goes. It's even centered on this dimension here, and it's even uh, centered on this dimension up here. Well, you could, you know, you wouldn't have to. I didn't even catch it myself. But if you slid that over to center, it's just one more thing that's that's creating that nice, those nice clean lines everywhere. Um, uh, something else would be. Let me open up another file real quick. Um, situations where you have. Uh, like beams, <clears throat> uh, I already talked about the, the, the alignment and all that with, about the uh, floor joist notes, but um, you know these one one of these beams could be placed like that. Another another one could be real close, and another one could be uh, under instead of over and be close. That's just not uniform. I like them. You know, there's there's no reason why this one should be three inches away from the beam and this one be eight inches or whatever, or this one be below. Now, if there's a lot of stuff going on over here and it's real busy, then sure, if it's that's not no nobody's going to die over that. But if at all possible, when whenever possible, align things, straighten things out, um, reposition things, uh, etc. Let's go back to the Murphy file. Um, yeah, there's all and there's always further alignment that you can do. You could spend probably two hours on this, and that wouldn't really be a good use of time. But <coughs> if while you're proofreading, you see something that could be aligned that would make it just a little bit more cleaner, then by all means, go ahead and, and change the position of it, and um, and full with that, you know, like I'm, I'm looking at this, like the distance that this is away from the window. That's comfortable. That looks good. This one looks like it's too close, but just by comparison, uh, you know, this is closer than this is by quite a bit. Um, I'm not asking you to take a ruler or to dimension all of these. Just you're just eyeballing it. But in general, sometimes I'll get a job back, and you know, that space like that. And this looks like it's practically touching it. Nobody's going to die. 
but it just doesn't look as good as when things are aligned uh, equal equal distance away from each other. So that's kind of the the um, nitpicking part of the process. And if I'm going back in and proofreading your work, and I'm seeing those kinds of things, it's it's really just I, I would I would rather pay you to do that and to have that come back to me where it's it's already it's already been thought through and if everybody's on the same page and we're all being nitpicky to the same degree by the time it gets to me I, i'm not even going to notice if it looks clean just by glancing at it and i don't see anything glaring um it's fine i'm not gonna i'm not gonna change it <clears throat> some like i said sometimes there are some busy intersections with lots of notes and dimensions going on and it, it can't be avoided but um Sometimes it can be.